come down here and take care of it afterwards. Sounds like an excellent plan. All right. Uh, Morlock. Was it, sorry, was that his name? Let me go back. Mort. Lock. Mortlock. Mortlock. Um, can you direct us to where we can find the remaining cultists? Of course. Uh, not would... getting too close to the statue of Bane, please. Huh? Without getting close to the statue of Bane, if you please. He's going this way. Good. So now we're like right about here. Uh, so this one's like this way. Do you want the statues? Yeah. A statue. Statue. Get statue. So right about here. He indicates that uh, he takes us back to the place we started at where we heard battle sounds. And in case there's this a way. A way is. So it's like, so right now it was like, uh, well, like this, and it split. There was a there was a room that smelled, uh, uh, no, no, that no, appeared no, no, empty, no. and then there was the battle to the side. No, no. So this is a smelly room. We are now over here. We came through here. This is where he was with the battle sounds. Okay. And now this is where he says the cultists are. All right. Let's head over there. Yeah, it's gonna give me a headache holding my hand like head like that. Let's see. Okay, mm. so let's see. So uh, as we enter, we see. So I'll, I'll make I'll set these rooms up one by one. So uh, remove those four. Set one. Four snoozing, in uh, bay nights. I'm gonna call them. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, amused myself uh, thinking of describing them as banal. He face palmed. We do that a lot in this campaign, in the sort of campaign. We are the pun lords. Okay, so what do you do? Um, are they sleeping? Are yes. They well, that should make this pretty easy. Um, I I think we should go in and uh, okay. do Who our thing. The first? Um, I really feel that I ought to be able to pass a stealth check. Advantage. I like advantage. Advantage. Twenty-one. You're hidden. Okay. And thus, you have advantage on your melee attackage. Well, are we still hidden after falling on the sleeping people? But um, well, <laughs> <laughs> we make lots of the puns in these games and jokes. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, I am just going to attempt to kill them outright. With a. Uh, but oh, you're smothering. No, actually, I'm. I'm, I'm going to go for the throat. In case they start wake up and. She's going to cover their mouth. She can cover their mouth so she can. She's going to cover the mouth so you can keep them from screaming. Roll so away. To keep them from waking up there. Um, 18 plus 7 is 25. Your mouth is covered in blood as you kill them. I'm sorry, my mouth is covered? Hand. Okay. As you cover the mouth, like, you just, and it's only... Ugh, that's disgusting. Only I don't say that out loud because I'm a professional. Okay. Next. Yes. Working my way from the back, and that way, if anybody does wake up, the rest of the team can come in from the front. Okay, good. Um, lab and rinse repeat, albeit somewhat stickier. Well, that is suboptimal. That was a 12. Is a 12 sufficient to hit a sleeping person? With advantage? With advantage. No, without advantage, it would have been a oh, wow. percentile roll. On account well, of me. That, so, I mean, yeah, so yeah, that's a hit. Yay! Okay, 1d8. They're um, dead. Alright. You just have to hit them. I just have to hit them. Alright, let's see if I can do better this time. Uh, 20. The match the attack you have and the number of health points they have is just not going to be compatible. 24. Number of hit points they have and the number of sneak attack damage you can do in one turn 
is not compatible with them remaining alive. Excellent. Their lives meets your sneak attack. We are not compatible. <laughs> so on to uh, Merkel's rest. And when I say cell, I mean cell like in the monastery novitiate. Merkel's sense, rest is actually empty as you as enter it. Four flickering torches lie in wall scones, illuminating sconces. Okay, I would illuminating like to... this crypt, in the middle of which is occupied by a large stone sarcophagus. The sarcophagus bears no carvings or other ornamentation, but it's full of humanoid skulls and bones. Six dusty bed rolls lie on the floor around it. Six dusty bed rolls. Okay, I would like to search the room for secret doors. Um, and I rolled high enough if there are any. Are there any? What'd you get? Um, on investigation, that's a 24. Not that you know of. Aren't you impressed with my restraint? Not saying that swear word aloud. <laughs> I enjoy this sort of thing. <laughs> um, I, I uh, gestured the rest of the team forward, uh, and gesture to the three spellcasters at the sarcophagus full of bones. I, I shouldn't need to articulate what I want them to do. That would, they, were, they require them to cast some spells and stuff like that. So as this happens, Varian goes and casts tech magic, and she says, Don't tech anything. Nothing magical. Okay. But then, the room explodes! Just kidding. <laughs> All right. It was, sent, it, was, it, was, it was triggered by magic. As soon as you cast magic in it, it exploded. I thought you said just kidding. Maybe. Anyway, so on to the next room, Ball's Rest. Uh, give me a stealth check. You probably need to try to figure out a way to pronounce both A's. Ball. All right, stealth check. How to pronounce both A's? I thought it was. How would you pronounce both A's? I'm not going. To, I'm. I'm not going to clarify the joke because we're on. We're oh my recording. goodness! Um, See you in the night, else. That would be a fifteen on my stealth check. Okay, you see someone bathing in blood. Well, like literally. Yes, the scrub is full of blood. I'm going to use this for that miniature, and they're going. And they're going. Pretty much. Isn't that gross? Yeah, she's gonna screw it. There, stay. Alrighty. Well. Ooh, if they're having a bath, then they're probably not wearing anything gross. Um, but that means they're not wearing armor. Yay. Uh, so, have they seen us yet? No, she has not. Alright. Um... May Cassandra... Make a an attack from here. You all have a sneak sneak action, so yeah. Okay. Um, Cassandra is going to use a second level spell slot. Um, and Cassandra is going to uh, gesture in the direction of the bathing party, and. Wounds are just going to open up down her forearms, assuming that I roll high enough. What are you doing? Inflict wounds. You have to be melee with them. Hmm? Inflict wounds is melee. Melee spell attack? Well, sod. Gesundheit. You remember this now, don't you? <laughs> Alright, well, then I'm going to use a second level spell slot, and suddenly it's going to get loud in here, Shatter. and that bathtub is going to be cracking, and blood everywhere. Shatter? Yes. Con save. Con save. You've got to be kidding me. Do not. D d that's oh, yes. That's much better. Another nat one. Yes, uh, this is noteworthy because he always rolls insanely high. Which is not a characteristic one likes in a DM. Um, me, 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 me. Alright, 3d8 thunder damage. Uh, well, I guess if they're, rolling, if they're also playing characters for you, they have to heal you a lot, so that's nice. I am quite happy with uh, my teammates rolling high. 
just on my DM. Uh, 13 damage to her and 13 damage to the sarcophagus full of blood. The sarcophagus explodes. I'm going to have her take a bit of... of Shrapnel? Yeah. That's, <laughs> as the things goes... Stone chips. As things goes... Ah, shnaboom! Yeah, she's just cover your ears like... Because she's like... Ah. Hopefully she's mildly disoriented. Mildly? She's losing her entire turn. Yay! And she tries to get up. Aizen, uh... Aizen is going to uh, snap his fingers. And a spark of lightning arcs from his fingers right at the woman. And he, and then he's going to glow his eyes red. She's going to think Thor's here. Thunder, lightning. I wonder if any of us has a war hammer. Fun fact, that's just what you can get. She crit failed, so she died dead. Her, her, a little bit of extra blood comes from her ears. She's like, "Yeah, that's why I was looking forward to inflicting wounds because you wouldn't be able to see them because she was already covered in blood." They yeah, both find wounds after a while. Okay, this person dead. Okay. Uh, Ali examines the room to see if there's anything else of interest or value or secret doors or other people. Uh, that would be a fourteen on the nope. investigation check. Nothing else here. Okay. Mortlock is in shock. That was one of the more powerful members of uh, the cult, and we just like... Okay. Good to know. He thinks this was the last area we, we could have explored. And he, he runs us through the rest of that place. He says, yeah, and we, we find every other place somewhere we've already been, so... Well, conveniently, there were tons and tons of corpses already here, so we didn't have to kill any of them. Alright, um... One. Okay. Anyway... So, as... What? Uh, what do you mean, one? We had to kill one? No, there was one corpse. No, you told us there was one room we came into that had corpses floating in it. Yeah, that was one That was one corpse. There was one corpse in it. Oh, I thought you said corpses, plural. No, I said corpse. You okay. checked in like, this guy's been dead for two days. No, that was the first room. I'm talking about the later room. I don't remember it does that not matter. Okay, so as we're exiting, and suddenly, five figures leaped out from the top of the courtyard wall to confront you. Excellent. Do they appear to be cultists? In addition to the black leather armor, there are strange masks and cloaks that give them each a vaguely dragon-like appearance. All five branches steel, curved blades, reminiscent of dragon claws. And they say, and one of them says, Out of our way. You do not have what we seek. They're telling us to get out of the way because they want to go into the bathhouse. Yeah. What's your business in the bathhouse? The cult stole from us. We wish to reclaim our stolen in our property. So you're not members of the cult. We wish to kill them if they remain alive. Pass, friend. And we gesture them on. Good lord, that sounded painful. That's my knuckles, by the way, and only two of them for the record. Well, and then you go and do the other set. I need to do it. Restrict my movement otherwise. And then Mortlock says, "So, what are you guys going to do now?" Well, we're taking you back to the station to see if they're going to execute you. I guess what about if you wanted to do that, or if you wanted a duo after it, you know? He, he, oh, after the uh, dragon. No, no, no. He's talking about, no, he's talking about like. Because his mother er, is responsible for this. He's wondering if he wanted to go after her. Oh, well, we need to turn him in first, and we'll let them know. And then they, if they want us to go deal with his mom, we'll go deal with his mom. Okay. But we weren't, we weren't given instructions to deal with... We, we were told collateral damage is okay, but we were also told we were taking out the this location. Okay, so as we head back... Uh... <laughs> Varine in is a little curious about him, like, she, she tries to talk to him, but like, so what's your mother like? And he just bears like, oh, never spoke with me. Really, uh, not about anything aside from business. Well, that's sad. Yeah, he was the one who got burned and wasn't really the whole business savvy one. So he's not really the useful one to them. Okay. 
Anyway, so as uh, we arrive back, Zodge like, um, what's Mortlock doing with you guys? Well, we, we didn't want to overstep our bounds, um, and we weren't sure how we were to handle him. So, the gist of it is, he is not one of the cult's followers, but he was working with the cult um, uh, under his mother's instructions, and he is offering information regarding... Uh, activities that you might find of interest. So we figured we'd bring him back here, let you question him, and decide whether you want him disposed of or not. Zaj has a... Okay! This is... Thank you. Um... I... Um... Okay. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Um... And he proves, has a sort of for the law where he tells you, uh, once you're ready, you should go after, uh, the Duke. The Mall of Emperor. Okay. But Hamper. So, I'll move these two, and, uh, so we each get a long rest. Lovely. And we're gonna spend this time, like, doing some role-playing stuff. Okay. So, what are your characters doing? Alright. Um. Alright, so we're getting a long rest. That means that we've all gone back to our homes. Is that yep. correct? We might, have a, we might even have a whole day to do this. We'll actually have a whole day to do this. So. Marvelous. Um, let me finish restoring everybody. Okay. Um, Allie is heading back to her office. Uh, she's going to check and see if there's any business outstanding that she needs to deal with. Uh, if there is, she shall. If there's not... Um, She'll do a little paperwork and then go grab some dinner and head home and eat it. Okay. Um, she has a lot of spare time after that because... Well, there will, I'm sure she'll want to get a good night's sleep. Okay. Uh, we did say long rest. Well, long rest will only take you like, will only take you like, like four eight hours. hours. Oh, long rest isn't like an overnight sleep? Yeah. Eight hours is, is, is what it takes to do the long rest. We can do like part of it as doing light activities and stuff. So like okay. you could be like so part of it could be like eight hours of it is sleeping. Sorry, four hours of it is sleeping, but but the other four is just exercising with like they're doing light activities. Like light exercise. Okay. Half is that. Alright. Um if she has leftover time after she has finished up her paperwork, grabbed dinner, gone home, slept. Um, and it's now the next morning or whatever, and she's got spare time. She's going to do all the... She's going to start working on the research um, that we discussed previously that we said she would normally have done before taking on a job like this. So she's going to start... Um, I guess in this case, she's going to delay the particular one, which was to research the ownership of the bathhouse, the management of the bathhouse, and figuring out... Uh, who all has connections to it that we might need to look into. Um, she's going to put that on hold and research Mortlock's mom and brothers, and his brothers. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm sure she's probably gotten a certain amount of intel on them, just generic stuff, but uh, now she knows what to dig for, and so she's going to do a little extra digging to uh, uh, fill out their files. Okay. So that that's... Allie, um, she'll do as Wait, much of that. I want the second part. Make some research on the characters. She's going to do as much research she can on the um, the mother and the brothers. Yeah. Um, specifically regarding this scheme that Mortlock has described. Okay. Um, uh, and I don't know how much she may not get very far on that in the time allotted, but she, that's what she's going to do until she runs out of time. Let's put that in the document. Okay. Put a little interesting for me. All right, where am I? At the at the end? Yeah. Okay. Long rest. Allie goes to office, does any outstanding paperwork. If there are any open jobs, she will work them. Picks up dinner. Heads home, eats, sleeps. If there is time, 
remaining uh, afterward uh, grabs her existing files on Mortlock's mother and brothers because again if she's in the intelligence industry and these are prominent individuals she's going to have something on them. You should have a lot, yeah. Um, and uh, refreshes her memory from them and then begins researching them from the standpoint of Mortlock's allegations. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Flick goes home, uh, updates Talus on the day's events, makes dinner for them both. Talus is actually the person Maybe. that uh, Flick works with, who uh, trained Flick. Yes. NPC of sorts. Yeah. Uh, Talus uh, uh, sort of rescued me when I was young, um, was impressed with how I was somewhat holding my own in a, uh, in right, a, by using in a fight, um, and uh, helped me out when I was getting overwhelmed and uh, 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 began training me. Uh, yep. Alright, so I make dinner for them both, we eat. Um, uh, do some training, actually not training, do some meditation, uh, sleep if applicable, um, and then uh, in the morning uh, I do my usual chores, more meditation, uh, and then train uh, until it's lunchtime or time to meet the group. Okay. All right, Cassandra. Uh, stops at a tavern and has dinner there. Um, heads home, uh, let's see, studies, uh, well, reads a bit, sleeps, uh, meets a friend for breakfast, um, I don't... That'll do. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for her. So, uh, as we all meet up, you, uh, notice that... Uh, so, uh, pass me this, thank you. So You're me. welcome. <laughs> I, I talk to myself a lot in case anyone watches doesn't know. So, uh, as we're meeting up, Hazir has his mask on, which is pretty unusual. He only wears like one to danger situation. And he has a young woman with him. So, uh, I can find a picture of her somewhere, but that'll take too long. He says, found someone might be able to tell us something. As we get within earshot of each other. Ali's ears perk up, or swivel forward, or whatever, and she uh, heads on over. Uh, the rest of them head over as well. Um, uh, nope, nope. Um, he's back, you know, Flick tends to stay back a bit. I was wondering because I didn't say who was who. Yeah. No. What was that? Wow, that one. Okay. Ethan says, oh, a hell rider. Oh. Uh, he says, Elterell? No one says, please be quiet about that. She says, please be quiet about that in case you didn't hear that. Uh, she says, is, I was trying, I was trying a few miles nor north of Eltrell when the city vanished. I saw the companion's light go out, 
turning black as they appear to crumble and sink below the horizon. The companion? It's the second sun the city has. Okay. The companion is like a two suns, the normal sun, and the second sun is like so bright you can't even see it. So, she found, found a crater where the city once stood and took it upon herself to lead a group of river refugees to Baldur's Gate. She, before the flame fist closed the gates, she and a handful of others managed to sneak inside, but they didn't get far before a group of flame fist soldiers confronted them. I'm sorry, what was her name? R E Y A. Uh. Rhea? Okay. Uh, and the last name is Mantlemorn. Mantlemorn? Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's it, perfect. Okay. So, uh, she, so she brought some refugees here? Yeah, and the refugee scared and she soon found herself cornered by a flame fist thug. She had wounded a soldier with her long sword and escaped down an alley. He and stole a close to her armor and weapons. She's a wanted fugitive now, technically. She uh, is investigating a room at the Thavius Krieg, the high overseer of Altrell is in the city. She has not chosen whether the rumor is true or not, but reports say that Krieg was seen in the company of four guards employed by the Von Tamper family. Okay. And, oh, sorry, Thavius Krieg is the what? High Overseer of El Terrell. One L. For oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Well, her fugitive status is a bit awkward since we're currently working for the police. Well, police quotation marks. Mm -hmm. Gotham, but more corrupt. Oh, good. That's pretty, what, what, that's pretty much what Baldur's Gate is. Gotham, but more, but more crime It's not more pork. But more crime rated and less... It's the shades? And less well run. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, precisely how does... Sorry, was this Eisen the, or... Uh, Hazir. Hazir. Uh... So in what way does Hazir consider this? He thought it would be useful to like what happened to Eldrell, and uh, he thought that she could help us because she wants to get to the Vatamper Villa, where the Vatampers are. She mentioned it first, and he thought, eh, she might be able to provide some help. Okay. Also, the skeleton has been disposed of by now, so we don't have the skeletons anymore. Okay. I just made sure to destroy them before he left. Good. I approve of them being destroyed. Um, so, where did we leave off with our, with, uh, Zodge? What did Zodge... He wants us to go after Van Tamper Villa. He does. Okay. All right, well, and it sounds like we have a new companion. Um, uh, now, did you say that she did find equipment that she can use? She had, because she was training. Okay. She has, she has useful equipment. She can fight. Okay. All right. Okay, well, is everybody all refreshed and ready? My Are there any nod. preparations we need to make, or shall we head on out? My character is Nod, and uh, Maureen says she's going to ask, uh, so why did you come to Baldur's Gate then, and if you didn't know like about Father's Creek before then, and, or did you know about it before it then, and, and she asks, do you like here? Hmm? She asks, Varine asks, did you know about Thavish Creek coming here before you got here? Or did you not? Do you like it here? She basically is trying to learn Figure out why did you come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rhea says, close to city, and I could not care less about Baldur's Gate. I hope the rats eat it. She has, she has pretty little pain of Baldur's Gate because of how corrupt it is. You get the feeling. Mm. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, but perhaps the people who are helping you and who live here might not be interested in hearing you diss their hometown. 
Who says that? Oh, that, um, that's Allie. Oh, is that the Allie or Flick? It, no, Cassandra's too nice and Flick is too wary. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if they, it seemed like something Flick would say, if, if I was sure if it was Flick. And, no, Flick would not say that. I figured Allie might be a bit too professional to say that. Uh, no, I, I think, I think providing somebody direction, uh, on... Yeah, how, I know. On, on how they should behave is, is definitely yeah. within her, her sphere. Well, she asked, so that's why she said it. So. Well, she didn't ask her to... She apologizes. Like, she apologizes to you. And says, my apologies, I did not mean to offend. Apology accepted. How's your snorts under his mask? Okay. Maureen is really confused like about that whole... She's like, hmm? At that comment about corruption and incarnate... Okay. She seems, like, she seems to be completely unaware the ball's gate is corrupt as all get out. You get the feeling. Oh, really? Patriarch for you. Note to self. Do not rely on her insight. So I was ready up a... Uh, managed to get through. Rhea keeps herself uh, pretty well hidden and out of notice. Because she's a... Uh, she's a bit more future. And, uh... She manages to get through the gates pretty quickly because she uh, has patriarch privileges, I'll just say. What? I was just wondering how long we've been going. Uh, one hour for five minutes. Do you want to stop here? Uh, maybe, this seems like if we're going to have a 